hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to implement conditional statement in qm report and in case you missed previous discussion about how to implement t tax t dash field t dash esc and t dash out tax please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the playlist you can see here odoo development and different playlist available with different topic wise and real task tasks if you need any support related to odoo you can visit the about page and you can send your query to this email address and source code also available in the github we have some social media pages make sure you can follow and don't subscribe to this channel to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how to implement conditional statements in the qf right so previously we learned about how to print field the model the field in the qf report right so today we will see how to add conditional statement in this qf report all right so here in the qf report we must have to walk around in the template right we have to call some external templates as well as we saw how to use this one right to print this one now let's say uh, let me comment this part oh sorry T desk feed T desk ESC and T desk out topic. Now in our today is our conditional statement. Write the if condition. So how we can write in the Python side if condition tab and Read else print something like this, right? But in a Q web, we have to define in a different way. So, for that, we can use here T, right? T dash E, and then the condition here, like let's say dog dot name. Uh, let's say I want to check, let's say I want to check whether this record set is sitaraman or not right so for that like i will use here dog dot name then after the name is the student name right and then after i will use here as a sitaraman right so this is my simple condition and i will add here a new a statement different statement so for that like i will use p tag right and here i will add yeah this is sita raman all right so let me upgrade the module first so this is our if condition right so as a t tag we have to use then after t dash if as a condition we have to apply here and then after in a double quote we have to mention the condition and then after you can add here anything all right like let's say here you can add the dynamic name like t dash e or she dog dot name all right let me upgrade this module before upgrade the module let me upgrade from the terminal How to configure Odoo with PyCharm? You can check editor level playlist. I already explained in that plan. Please check that one. So let me upgrade this module, right? And I'm trying to print the report. Now you can see, yes, this is Sitaraman, right? So what about any other field, which is this one, the Ramu Chacha? Let's say if I will click here, you can see here it will print nothing right the blank why because we didn't add else condition here so if you want to add else condition here so it's very simple you can add like this t desk esc and the blank that's it this is a compulsory right if you want to implement uh, sorry not a esc sorry my bad else 
T dash L and then P dash no this is not Sita Raman this is span T dash field dot dot name so this is the else condition here right let me upgrade the module and now I will try to print this record one more time now you can see no this is not a sitaraman this is Ramu Chacha all right now let's say I'm going to again in sitaraman now you can see yeah this is sitaraman all right so this is if else condition right let's say you have a multiple conditions here right same as the python side like else elif so that is also possible here so here let the t t desk if dot dot name equal to equal to like let's say yeah this is my favorite student field dot dot name all right so here we have to mention not if but ali same as the python but before prefix should be the t dash like this all right and here let me add a ram chacha oh let's say jethalal yeah jethalal to be jethalal is the good one uh let me upgrade the module right and let's say i'm trying to print this car this report now you can see yeah this is my favorite student jethalal all right so it's executed this elif condition here let's say i am trying to print the student profile you can see yes this is sitaraman right the if condition let's say i am trying to print this ramu you can see this is print it will go to the else statement right so this is so like this way you can implement the conditional statement in a qweb report it will display it will support like this all right and here this is not also necessary you can also reduce your code from this line to a simple line like this okay so let me show you the shortcut way copy then after copy this second line and copy this third line right and now what I will do I will do only this one like I will copy this here in the P statement I will copy else if statement in a second P tag and I will add this last else statement here right and now I'm trying to commit this one and now you can see you can also reduce your code from this to this that is also possible right so it is not a required to use t dash uh, sorry this t tag always to implement a condition right you can add any of the tags you can write any of the html tags right with this condition also now i'm trying to print like said this one the ramu chacha ah sorry the ramu only you can say this is ramu all right let me add here one more this statement
all right so this is a else that mag like let's say jethalal you can see our else if condition and the sitaraman means if condition all right so like this way you can use the conditional statement in the qweb report i hope you understood this one and in case you have any doubt related this one please comment below and see you in next session